so guys in this video we are going to write our last stage of our pipeline so in which we are going to create container from the image and uh, that image we will pull uh, from the docker hub so let's do it so for that we need to go to configure again in our job so that will be the last stage so that is this by stage to specify steps so inside the step i will write the command so for that as such docker run like that i e d then uh i can name i'm specifying the name to the container a uh, specific name and then i will map it to uh, Port number. It will be. And if you remember, in our Docker file, we have exposed exposed our application to three thousand uh, IP. So I will expose it on the same IP address. Uh, and then I will provide my image name. So our image name is latest one. So we will fetch this image from our uh, repository. Yeah. So this was the command which will con uh, convert the image into container. So let's save it and uh, run it. And let's build and check it. So what's the nine image is getting pushed? as you can see here after so much time it will push the latest image so now it is pushing the latest image now it is converting into a uh, container Pulling the image, see as you can see, it is pulling the image while verifying its download completed. Yeah, so now our uh, now our build was success. So we will check one by one. So let's go to our Docker Hub and see the uh, latest version. This is our repository, guys. So if I will go inside repository, see we, uh, this is version nine, and if you see our build number, that is also nine, and this is this is the latest one, which got pulled and converted into a container. So let's check the images. So Docker. If you see here, uh, there is only latest image which got pulled just now, and it got converted into container. So let's see whether container got created or not. So now. Yes. So as you can see, the container is running here. Okay, two second ago. So to check the application, what we need to do is like uh, we need to copy the IP address from our uh, server. So we can copy here this IP address. We can go and as we have exposed our application to uh, three thousand port. So after giving semicolon, we can write that port and we can check it. So guys, you can see here. We can see we can access our application and we can write our day-to-day -day activity, whatever I want to do. So I have to. So it got added. So see, our application is also working properly. So So see guys, all the items are getting added. So you can use this application to add your day-to-day -day activity, and you can delete it if it is done. So uh, this was the one. So after this, guys, let's check that whether our complete CI/CD or pipeline is working or not. So for that, we need to go to our uh, code. So we need to make some changes here. So
So this time what I will do, I will remove this one and I will save it and I will commit it. So, uh, first I will add it. Add, not, to that clip, commit, then, I'm, then I will push it. So now it is pushing our code to GitHub. So let's see whether our uh, job is getting triggered or not. So that should be the tenth job. And see, our pipeline got triggered automatically. So now it is checking out the code. So it is succeeded. After that, it is building the image. So as you can see, like all stages got executed successfully now it is creating container so uh, after creating container error. so let's see what is the error here okay uh, so this i was expecting because why we got this error because we are already running one container if i run here docker so if i run here docker uh, ps then we can see already one container is running and that too with the latest tag so that's why we got that error so uh, to avoid that error first we need to stop this container and then uh, and we can delete also that container so after deleting that it will pull the latest image again and then it will uh, create the container and that container we can access it so that logic we will write in the next video guys thank you so much